In this video we will show you how to mount the N-Drive Slim by yourself. We always recommend installation by a technical specialist, but in most cases it's a simple process, and you will need only screwdrivers. How to mount the emulator? The N-Drive Slim has the same size and connection as your slim floppy drive. Our task is to disassemble and replace the floppy drive with the emulator. First, make sure your equipment is unplugged. No matter what type the equipment is, we first have to locate the floppy and start from there. In the video below the description, floppy disks and floppy drives video, we showed you how to make a difference between the types of the floppy disks. In some equipment, the floppy drive is located exactly on it, and on others the floppy drive is on an external control unit. In most cases, only the upper or bottom cover needs to be disassembled. To disassemble this unit, there are two screws on the one of the sides, two screws on the other side, and five screws on the back. Nine screws in total with Phillips heads. Remove them and simply remove the upper cover of the unit. To remove the floppy drive, there are three screws that are holding it. Just remove the screws and take out the floppy drive. In most slim floppies, in order to disconnect the flat, flexible data cable you have to unlock the connector mechanism. This is done as shown in the picture. Some slim floppies do not have this locking mechanism on the connector. In such cases it is only needed to pull out the flexible data cable. In this case we are removing the cable by simply pushing it out, there is no locking device on the floppy drive. Now we need to remove the four screws that are holding the floppy drive. Use the screws in the mounting kit that came with the emulator to attach the end drive. These are the needed screws for holding the emulator. Take the emulator. We will need to place the four screws to fix the emulator. When you are ready we need to install the cable to the emulator. Connect the flexible data cable to the N-Drive Slim. No locking device on this connector. If your emulator is for disc lavier, it is important to place the cable with the blue line up. Otherwise you have to connect the cable contacts side up. Simply push it inside. That's all. Now we are installing the emulator on its place, and now we need to fix it with the screws.
When we are ready, we just set it like that. We make sure that all connectors are connected and there are no detached parts. Take the cover. And now the emulator is installed on its place. Now we can do a test. We will power the equipment and make sure it works properly. After inserting the flash drive, the end drive screen should display the number of the virtual disk. For most equipment, we put information in the first virtual disk that can be read. That way we can test whether the equipment reads or writes information. Once we make sure that the emulator works, we can assemble the equipment completely. In the troubleshooting video below the description, you can see the most common N-Drive Slim connection mistakes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for more updates.